the best we could have hoped for was two wins, you know, the best possible result, and that's what we've achieved. Um, going to Newcastle, um, we were under the illusion that playing the first game of the season, there might be a bit of sun, there might be dry conditions, but obviously we went there, it was torrential rain, blowing a gale, but we did what we needed to do and we got the job done. And then obviously you can't ask for a, a tougher game than Leicester at home for your first home game of the season. Um, but again, you know, we worked hard for about 50, 60 minutes. Um, and thought had a, had a few, you know, dark patches where they came back into it, but managed, you know, to hold off. And I think that was quite a, quite a test to our character that we managed to hold off and, you know, get the good win. Which, like I said, 100% record. It's a good start. There's no easy games anymore. But Saracens, you know, another top four side, and you know they're, they're creating something special there. They've got a great bunch of boys there, huge talent again. And um, you know that's them. We're worried about us. And you know if we can get our game plan right, if we can get the things right that we need to, then you know we'll be a test for anyone. Um, but they're, they're a very good side um, and we believe that we are. So you know it'll be a good marker for us to see that we can keep that consistency going and that momentum going. We want to win everything we can. Um, and you know the difference maybe for, for me is that I've been in teams in the past where we might have targeted a losing bonus point in places like this. But there's a real belief in the squad that we can, you know, we can go to anywhere and if we perform that we can win. Um, so yeah. We're going there to play the best we can, um, and if that comes away the win, then fantastic. I've said before, yeah, the opportunity to work with, with Toby Booth and Neil Hatley, you know, was one I really couldn't pass up, pass up on. Um, you know, those guys pushed me hard in the past. I got into the England Saxons with them, working with them, um, and they know they know how to push my buttons and get me get me firing. So that was a big opportunity for me. That was a big bonus for coming here, um, and I just felt at the time it was it was a right option for me to move. Um, I felt that I became a bit stale, um, and I wanted to push on again in my progression, and you know, try and get, try and get some international recognition, other Saxons, and push on from there. And I felt this was the right place with the ambition that this club's got. You know, this club can achieve big things. I don't mind being seen as one of either or. I don't want to be seen as a utility player. I'd rather be nailed as, a, as either a six or a second row. Um, but again, you know, I just I'm a rugby player that wants to play rugby. You know, if I wasn't fortunate enough to be a professional in this sport, I'd still play on a Saturday or Sunday with my friends because I love the sport. So I'll play anywhere the club needs me to play and hopefully I can do a job in either of those positions. But if I can nail down either the six shirt or the five shirt, which is going to be hard because of the competition here, then I'll do my best to hold that jersey. The history of this club and the success it's had in the past, you know, the players that we've got here, we want to be playing in the best competition possible. Um, and obviously, if the Heineken Cup's still around next season, we want to be in it. Um, but you know, we'll do the best we can. If we get into those positions to play in that, then fantastic. But like I said, the players that we've got here, we want to be testing ourselves against the best players, and that's the competition for it.